Hello, Gomez here from the Land Up channel yet again, just waiting for those new cards for the day. It has been speculated that we're going to be seeing Dragon Champion Lady today, but we shall see. And uh, let's get into what the cards are today. Whoop. Okay, so from the little flash, it looked like it's going to be um, Dragon Lady. I don't know what her name is, because, yeah, again, I don't play League of Legends that much, therefore this is all new to me, but I'm excited to know what she does and if there's going to be more dragons. So let's see what happens as we press this play button. Okay. <sighs> dragons. <sighs> mm. Oh, she looks good. <laughs> Reminds me, of which, reminds me of Alexander, which Alexander, wh wh whatever her name is, the one from, what's his face, World of Warcraft, <laughs> Alex, uh, Alex Straza, that's the word, that's what she reminds me of, but that's because I come from Hearthstone. Fire Lady, anyway, Fire Dragon Lady, let's get into this, okay, so, give me 1-1 one, one this round, is which, well, she's a, which, um, attacking, so every single time, every single time that she attacks, she gets, which is a stat buff, uh, I've seen dragon allies deal, uh, 12 plus damage, okay, so, to be fair, there's a lot of dragons, especially, like, Broodmother, and there's, a, like, a, the new cards that they've, they've shown, as well as, like, the classic dragons that you've already got, which are high stats anyway, and every single time that they, um, kill something, they get fury, uh, this, especially considering the fact this is in Damasia, so, you need to remember as well, single combat, and things there's many different ways to deal damage um so getting that 12 damage should not be very hard to level her up um so let's see what she does when she levels up let's have a look at this all of course age claws to get it looks out. like a new new um which call it uh, card back as well so so laps into, oh, it leaves into battle yeah so fighting tooth and claw so yeah she increases her damage like that Boom. It's only for that round that she gets those stat boosts, but let's see what she hopefully gets when she levels up. A challenge lies ahead of us. Okay. This time we'll be ready for them. See it again, the behold which it, that looks like the, the new card which includes um because obviously challenge. she looks like the one that's in the card art of um you know the one they revealed the other day, um site shop shop that like shop site or site or no size which gave um things plus two plus two and could Lies defend against which it can defend against things so this is a new card yet again um that's based off of that same artwork that was in that um spell the other day um burst spell so when i'm summoned if you behold a dragon so yet again we're seeing more behold a dragon i think there was a few cards yet again that were behold dragon like i think it was the lieutenant wasn't it or the um yeah was it the dragon which is dragon guard lieutenant i think it was yesterday who could behold and he got a given challenge um, so yeah again some more things so yeah again just building the whole dragon archetype deck is something which is really which is really something i mean to be fair there were a few dragon decks that already existed but this is now actually it is a synergized deck that actually does work together really well so yeah beholding so get um rallying which is devastating especially when it comes to dragons because yeah again as i said every single time that they kill something the fury means that they actually what you call it like a gain stats so obviously with screeching dragon which is right there it's got a challenge thing so it can get rid of the small means and the fact that you could do that twice is devastating which it would do which it was really effect as well as that it's got red which it relentless pursuit in this deck so even more even more attacking forward but yeah let's keep let's keep going i want to see that level up and i want to see that effect of that level up but yeah, no, Dragon deck, so at least going to be a, a very synergized thing at the moment. So what does Dragon theory. Allies do? Would it do 12 damage? Yep, yep, yep. I want to see, I want to see what her level up does. I want to see what that ability is. Now I take to the skies. That is a lovely animation. That is a lovely animation. Okay. So, attack. Give me 2 plus 2 this round and create a fleeting, so it depends on what... Uh, which we that strafe and strike does right now but yeah so her which is so her stats increase again it's just for the round that those stats increase it's not like it's grant me this which it is literally that but she does gain fury so she does become obviously like the dragon herself uh, there so she does gain the few things so she will anything that she kills does start to get those stats up but let's have a little look and see what the fleeting spell actually actually is let's have a little look I'm curious. So, doo -doo -doo, Battle of Fury. 
so... Oh. Did not actually get to see what it does, but let's have a look. So, right, there we go. Right. An ally and an enemy strike each other. Then, if the ally is a dragon, heal... Okay, right, so this actually works really well with their... Um, fury things so obviously it does damage but then it can heal itself back up again so the fact that yeah that, that, that actually works really well um not only that is that that spell can still be used out of it sounds a bit weird but it can still be used out of being a dragon it, it gets the benefits from being drag which if it's a, a dragon ally but uh, it's just an ally and an enemy strike each other and then that ally gets granted which if, if it's a dragon gets healed for two but so it's a one extra, it's an extra cost single combat in um, Demacia is basically what this, what this is also giving you is what I'm trying to say. So um, the fact that you could add this kind of thing as another um, for like Fiora is what I'm trying to say is like it can be used with Fiora. She, she can, it's another striking thing as well as the fact that it can be used with Garen to give him another strike to potentially level him up. Obviously, as I said, it's going to be more beneficial in dragons um, because obviously it's an extra cost for a single combat, but it's the fact that, that still is a thing. Um, and especially with Vi when you're attacking forward, another thing which allows her to strike, considering the fact that obviously like the, the other one which is far bigger is Concerted Strike, um, which does mean that those things don't take damage, is the, which is the good thing about that as well. But this is just another way of actually striking forward. As I've said, it's going to be more beneficial with dragons, but it's the fact that it has given Demacia another striking spell, which actually can help in other things it can be which it's going to be mostly used in dragons and the fact that it can heal and the fact that obviously with their fury that's devastating because going into an attack like this obviously it can defend against um which is so you go for the attack forward you use that to kill something that's in front of something else to potentially save that thing's life but also to buff that dragon up as well as the fact that obviously it's gonna get a little bit of heals um so devastating definitely you're gonna see this in dragon decks um this might even be what I, I, i'd say this might even be what replaces single combat but single combat is still that egg that one cost less so potentially it gets run with it but it depends on whether or not it's going to be space um but you know i can see this definitely definitely seeing use and like in dragon decks but i can see a little bit a little bit out of dragon decks as well personally because of, it's, it's more about the keyword strike is the fact that there's certain things that that works with um even draven technically striking works with draven as well as i said like a garen um and vi i like your main i think they're like all your striking champions where they which they the keyword works with their level up is what i'm trying to point out um but you know, it definitely gets used more in dragons than anything else so let's go back through that's good they get so so Damascus just got all all of the things to deal with to strike it before actually having to do combat it's devastating Ooh. So what was that spell? We didn't we didn't actually get to see what that spell was, did we? Like in terms of So wait a minute, that was wait a minute, this was sorry, I just wanted to see what spell that was. That I kind of missed. So So it's whatever this this spell card is here that we don't actually get to see unless it shows us after the fact. It might show us after the fact what this does. So dragons dominate the battle. So it, it gives somebody challenge by the looks of it. Or was that was that the same spell only I just wasn't paying attention to it properly? Wait a bit. Or was that I need I need to pay more attention here to what happened. I do apologize, I've got to go back through to see what happened. So yeah, she gets to level up. Da -da 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 -da. So, get the fury. So yeah, because that was a was strength track, which is what you get off of her. But I, I didn't get to see a cl unless wait a minute. Actually, uh, because it's a ch because it's a champion, we do get to see obviously the ones after which it, there's normally a little 
thing here. So let's quickly have a look at that. Because I think I might have missed what that one was. So yes, this is the one. Um, grant an ally challenge and sh so it's a it's a, a spell like you know, a champion spell of granting somebody challenge, which obviously again works so well in a dragon deck because dragons are all about fury and all about things. We get to see also a few more dragons that we didn't get to see. So the eclipse dragons. That's a daybreak. So daybreak synergy. Uh, but it is in is this one's in Targon already. Um, the next dragon, which to be fair, you're going to be playing a lot of Targon because let's face it, Targon's like the next region that's got the most dragons. So I can see there's going to be a lot of synergy between there, but there could potentially be branching out things, but who knows? Um, so yeah, the next, which is the next dragon or celestial. So yeah, again, working with the dragon and celestial thing because obviously, uh, a soul's spell works off of dragons and celestials. Uh, you play cost two less, which is really good. So it's got a daybreak and a nightfall. Thing. So create a random dragon follower and celestial in hand. So it's whether or not you want to take it on the first move to make the next one you play cost two, or whether or not you want to play. Because it, it just says the next dragon or celestial unit you play cost two less. It doesn't say the next one you play this turn. That's important because technically that means that you could set that could be a move set up for another turn. So turn seven, you throw this down, and then the next turn after that, you could potentially throw this guy down because immediately because you'd be on eight after that, but this guy cost two less, so you could potentially throw this guy out. I, I, that's how I'm reading that because it doesn't actually say uh, for this turn because there is that nightfall card which is uh, deduct the cost of your next nightfall card for this turn. I swear it says, I need to, which I need to look at that thing again. But then all the nightfall, as I said, just create another uh, dragon or celestial in head, which it follower in hand. So it, gets you, it can be used both ways, which is really good. Um, the only way that you could get both of these effects is if you have the sun guy on the, which on the board is the, you know, the, um, um, it's always sunny, that man. I can never remember what his name is, but um, the big man who, who makes it always sunny so that you could potentially play something, then play this, which should, should give you its daybreak ability because that guy's on the board as well as its nightfall ability. So potentially there is a way of synergizing. So her with Leona could be a, could be a, a good deck with, with that card specifically. Um, when I'm summoned, so I'm just looking at the other guy, the Witcher Infernal. Um, when I'm summoned, grant other dragon out. So he's the main buff man for dragons. So literally, the second that he gets played, he's buffing all dragons everywhere. Plus two, plus two, which is already a devastating stack. And considering the fact that that would also count on top of a soul anyway, <laughs> um, you would be getting to a soul's level up no problem with the fact that you'd be buffing all of those dragons and her um but yeah so the fact that which is so it's it's, it's more which is she's she's okay i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie she's okay i expected slightly more from that from this champion but for cost that's perfectly fine um for that which is which it plus one plus one on attack and obviously when she levels up that's plus two just for the round with the spell which admittedly the spell which it can be used really well especially with dragons and you're going to be playing her in a dragon deck to get that level up anyway um so yeah i don't know i don't know what i i wanted extra maybe not maybe i wanted an additional overwhelm on top of that but to be fair there's there's nothing wrong with that she's actually like a really nicely stat and that she is all about aggression because she gets those extra stats on attack um so she basically heals herself for any damage that was done anywhere in the previous round so she could still because the stat line where she still could be used defensively as well as offensively um because she's definitely going to survive a few attacks plus every single time i said she's tacking forward for that round she's getting a buff which is going to be healing her not to mention the fact that as i said it's obviously in demacia so you could be using um strafing strike or you can be using other things as well as the fact that she can now be paired with targon for their dragon so the heals that are in targon already um you know, I'm I'm trying I, I want to know I'm trying to think what else I, I put her in like in terms of the fact that so a dragon deck potentially in Noxus with Noxus's landmark um, the fact that you can make those dragons be challenging the the, which the weaker ones which is still going to be doing damage which she again counts towards her level up um, I can I can see I can see some combinations potentially happening with um, her and Noxus potentially with which it with draven i don't know why why that's happening in my head because of the strikingness of her spell um 
but I can I can see something happening there personally, especially considering the fact that they've got the cheap cost um, landmark removal as well. I mean, admittedly, Targon's got that, so you can still pair her with Targon for those Targon dragons as well. And obviously, you could uh, compare her with a you could use her with Asa or with Leona with um, the dragons which are there now, especially that which is the Eclipse dragon. Um, ben, I'm I you know what? Very happy. I'm very happy with this. I cannot wait to get in there and play. I can't just I just want to play these cards. So let's so which good let's I just want to say which good shameless plug time as my twitch twitter and instagram i'm streaming on mondays tuesdays wednesdays and thursdays so if you want to catch the action live please feel free to as well as that there's the competition or widget the giveaway going on this month where i'm giving away two of these fresh lamps that do light up um yeah, so if you want to get involved with that head over there i do also have the goal where i'm trying to get either to a thousand subscribers on youtube or a thousand followers on twitch by the end of the year uh, if i hit one of those or both of those as i've already said i'm gonna have to do something big i've got no idea what the hell i'm gonna do but i'm gonna have to do something big but thank you all for watching i hope you enjoyed this mustachio man's content and please let me know what you think of these new cards that's very important to me i want to know what you guys think what you guys are, are planning what decks you're thinking about building yourselves please let me know and leave that down with in the comment section down below but until next time thank you so much and bye right i'm gonna actually kill you because um that gives me a card i mean i was hoping it well shit <laughs>